I need a line type that says three quarter inch water type K copper. And I really want to get back to my work, so I want to don't want to take forever at doing it. So I have in the same directory with my drawing this project line types dot L I N and I open that with Notepad or Notepad Plus Plus or any text editor. And first of all, it well that's the first thing. It's project line types dot lin. The second thing is it's got a little piece of auto lisp in the top that I can copy and then paste into my AutoCAD command line and it'll define a command C colon command LPL that I can type LPL and it will load it. The next thing is it has a bunch of examples. Now I've already gone in and created one here. But let's pretend I didn't and uh, let's go down to one that already exists U till W 6 inch. We'll say 3 underscore 4 because we can't do slashes in names, but then we can do a nice description. A 3 quarter inch uh, type K water type K copper repeated every 1 and a half inch. So I'll say three fourth and use that thing that all the others are using for inch and then type K copper. All right, now it's got an offset of 0.1 inch. All these other ones that are really short have an offset of 0.1 inch. This is a lot longer. So it looks like it was trying to be one and a half inches. We had 1.1 inches of line and then uh, 0.4 inches of gap. So I'm going to make this into five inches of line and eh, let's try two inches on the front, two inches on the back, and let's change this offset. Now let's think about this. We've got the text itself and then some gaps on the ends. So the text itself doesn't need to quite offset as much as the whole gap. This is a four inch gap. So we don't need to offset quite half of that gap. So let's do 1.8. Save that and go back to AutoCAD and LPL and then I can I've got a, a layer for a three-quarter inch water. Let's load this uh, line type, set it, and let's draw it. Line. Okay, it's a little long on the tail end. That's always going to happen, so we got to go back and tweak it. Um, we're going to shorten this gap, which is going to bring well, let's just see what happens. Shorten the gap. So, about how much? Nah, it's not twice as long as it needs to be. Maybe about be two thirds as long. It's four inches long. Let's try making it three. That's one and a half and one and a half. And then I guess 0.75? No, one and a half. So let's try 1.3 and see what that gives us. And all we got to do is LPL and regenerate. Getting mighty close. Let's try an arc. Arcs are kind of nice because they can see what will happen on a curve. All right. Yeah, that's kind of good. I can see how close my text is to centered. And we're pre getting pretty close. Let's just make this a little shorter. Eh. Let's 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 err on the short side. See what happens. 1.3, and we were pretty close to centered. It might have been offset a little too far back. So, uh, one point. Oh, let's just try one. 
and LPL regen and there we go I got a little bit short let's uh, let's see that overlap is so all I gotta do is change my offset a little bit yeah I was a little aggressive on that 1.0 and this is how fast it is to, to tweak your line types there I go 1.2 control s LPL RG and I'm done and that's it thank you